I'm Dan Gukin, author of these books on Word, and here's today's Word Tip. I know they throw a lot of junk into Word, but a calculator in a word processor? It's true, Danny. Microsoft Word has a secret calculator tool. Try this. Type a math equation into Word into your document. I'll do a simple one. 1 plus 1. Now, who knows what the value really is? Select the text, your math equation. Click the Calculator button on the Quick Access Toolbar. The answer appears down here on the status bar. Hold on, jerk. I don't see a Calculate button on my Quick Access Toolbar. Well, that's because you're mentally inferior. What? Just kidding. You can add it by following these steps. Go to the Quick Access Toolbar, which is up here on the Word window. Menu button. Click. More Commands. Lo, you find the Word Options dialog box. Quick Access Toolbar item already chosen for you. Word commands dwell on the left, and the current Quick Access Toolbar lineup is housed on the right. Choose All Commands because the calculator isn't at all popular. Scroll down to find the item titled Calculate. Here it is. Select it. Add. And once it's over here, you can position the calculator on the Quick Access Toolbar in its lineup any way you like. When it looks good, you click OK. And there it is, up on the Quick Access Toolbar with its rather unimpressive icon. <laughs> it's boring, but never mind. Now you can type an equation, and I'll do something a bit more complex, say 88 divided by 6 times 24. Who knows what the answer is? And you don't have to type an equal sign here. All you do is use standard computerized mathematical symbol things, then select the equation, click Calculator, and you see the result, 352, down here on the status bar. Neato! Right! Here's a list of symbols you can use in your Word calculator computations. Now, these are more or less familiar, especially if you use Excel or you're nerdy enough to program. But be aware that a couple of them may not behave as intended. For example, the parentheses are used for subtraction. You can also use a space for addition, and I'll show you how that works. And then the power thing, I'll show you how that works too. So here's a sample equation using subtraction with parentheses. 52 minus 16, and you see I've enclosed the 16 in parentheses. The result, 36. So I can edit this now using the power of Word and replace the parentheses, just have a space here, which of course means to add in the Word universe. And I'll select it, lick it. There, the result is now 68. In a way, you might want to think that the parentheses and the space are used in columns. So for example, if I put both items in a column, then it would add the total. That's one way to look at how the parentheses or the space works. Anyway. If you're unfamiliar with the power operator, 2 to the 10th power is written like this, 2, caret or hat, 10. And you can see down below when I click the calculate button, the result is 1024, which is a holy number in computing. And then to do a square root, you go ahead and use the caret again. So 2, and then the caret or the power symbol, and then use parentheses to group, unlike uh, subtraction, this is a grouping thing, 1 divided by 2, so 2 to the half power, which is the square root of 2. Select, calculate, and, and, and there it is. But just, just don't overthink any of this. Anyway, it's, it's a handy trick. <laughs> no, it's not. Why not just pop up a calculator? Look, let me be in charge. I'm in Word, and I want to know the result of this equation. 6 plus 12 divided by 3. Don't even bother with a calculator button. Select it, and then copy. Now I'm going to switch to the Windows Calculator app. There it is. Paste. There's the equation. Nifty how that works. Isn't that cool? Click the Equals button. There's the result. But wait, but wait. Control-C to copy. Then go back into Word. And paste. <laughs> Take that. Fine, fine. I'm good either way. If you find it silly to use the Calculator button, remove it from the Quick Access Toolbar. Click the Menu. More commands, and then find the item over here on the right, calculate, remove, 
Okay. And I will admit to you, Danny, your method is better anyhow. Yeah. Now, can we get back to word processing? No. Let me gloat a while. La, la, la. Gloat, gloat. Oh, oh, oh. Gloat, 